one. Now again, guys, I, remember, I mentioned to you that at the beginning of this chapter, we have to know what these graphs look like. You guys just wrote down eight different graphs. So at least you now have a library of saying, oh, I can at least have an idea. I can look back and double check that I'm doing this correctly. So anyways, first thing I'd recommend doing is just graphing you know, what these graphs look like, or at least just kind of knowing what these functions look like. So uh, y equals x cubed. You guys should know it's something that looks like that. We call it like the s graph. Looks something like that, right? And then over here, we have e to the x. Oh, I didn't mention where the points were, did I? On that graph? OK. Um, I forgot to mention the points of uh, some important points. But on the e to the x, you guys should know that that point, that parent function, crossed the y-axis at 1, 0. So on those graphs that you guys had, obviously, I think you guys know where 0, 0 is. You can fill in. Majority of them have an important point at 0, 0. But for the exponential function, you should know that that point is at 1, 0. And that's just kind of important to know. OK, so graphing the piecewise functions. Basically, guys, we got to look at this and say, hey, they want us to graph x cubed, but they only want us to graph x cubed for a domain where x is greater than or equal to 0. So they only want us to graph when they have positive numbers. We don't need to graph any of this, right? So all we're simply going to do is just erase it. That's it. Because that's values of x that are less than 0. We only want to graph values of x that are greater than 0, greater than or equal to. Now let's go into the next one, e to the x. It says only graph e to the x when x is less than 0. So where are the values x is less than 0? Well, that's to the left of the y-axis, right? So we don't want to graph anything over here. But we have an issue. Can x equal 0 here? No. no, so it's not included, right? So therefore, to represent exclusiveness at that point, we should do a open circle. It should be like a whole. Circle and like the dashed line is changeable or mm -hmm. Yeah, but that dash that dashed line would be for like a set of points. Right. Okay, yeah. So now to graph the piecewise function, all we're simply gonna do is combine them. And that is our function. Kind of cool, isn't it? No? Not cool? Oh, okay. Jeez, tough crowd.